New on 710KURV weeknights at 9 p.m. It's the Dana Show. Uh, she'll be at 9 for a while, and then I'm very much looking forward to bringing her over to 6 p.m. weeknights uh, later on in the fall, but stay tuned for that. Dana Lash joining us on 710KURV. Patriot, it is an honor. How are you, friend? It's, I'm doing so good. Thank you guys for having me. You I bet. It. So w- what are you most passionate about, Dana? Oh, my gosh, what am I not most passionate about? I think that's probably the better question. You know, I mean, obviously, um, with the book coming out this October, I've done a a book on gun control, like every gun control argument you can think of. Um, I've gone through all of them, and I've done about three years of research um, into even even the correspondence between the founders and and the colonies, uh, you know, the the original 13, their, their constitutions, and have been really looking at gun control, the history of the Second Amendment. So that you know, right now, besides education, I, I, I think the Second Amendment, uh, those issues, gun control, I, I feel incredibly passionate. Tell about. me a little bit about yourself, Dana. You, your family, um, you know, where are you at right now? What, tell me about yourself. Well, you know, we moved almost a year ago from St. Louis to Dallas. And I moved from a baseball town, a hardcore baseball town, to a hardcore football town. And you know, Well, I don't know about that with the Cowboys uh, these days. Well, okay, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. You know what? I went from the Rams to the Cowboys, so I don't know. Okay. You know, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of shocked. I'm <laughs> sorry to hear about that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody is. Everyone's like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. You know where the Cowboys yeah. are. But, no, um, you know, I love Dallas. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a great area, and, you know, obviously we've expanded the show. And uh, I, I moved down here to work uh, to do a television show, which actually just daily it launched yesterday with The Blaze. So it's a live television show that I do um, out of the studios here at Blaze headquarters. And I, you know, I've, I've been writing for forever. I've done radio since uh, before the elections in 2008, which I know is a, a blip in the time of most people's illustrious careers. Hmm. But, um, you know, it, I, I so enjoy what I do. And I am really fortunate in that I get to have fun with all three, maybe even four mediums of communication. You know, I get to have fun on the web with writing and presentation, and I get to have so much fun on radio because radio was so theatrical. And I I have so much fun on television, too, which is, you know, I really enjoy radio. I think that that's the beast I love the most. But uh, my boys and I and my husband, we all moved down here. We love it. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're just, uh, it, we're, everything's going really well and we're stoked, although we have no lives, but you know, that's <laughs> no. good not having a life. Uh, yeah. Don't complain there. So you could be doing a lot worse, uh, these days. Hey, I, I know Dana was part of that, uh, Glenn Beck contingent that came down here a few weeks back to the McAllen area. And, uh, they brought uh, trailer after trailer of full of stuff for families here in, in South Texas. And, and I, I'd never <laughs> realized this, Dana. I'm so sorry. Uh, I was standing next to you almost the entire time. And I, oh, I, really? I, 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 <laughs> I didn't realize that was you yeah. with the little cap and fatigues. And, and somebody told me, you were standing next to Dana Lash the whole time over at the church. What? That was Dana. I just, anyway, I just kicking myself. So, no, I, that, well, no, in your defense, whenever, and this is the funniest thing, whenever I put a hat on, no one has any idea who I am. Yeah. Unless my hair is out and it's long, nobody has any clue who I am. Yeah. It's, it's so, it's, that's just kind of funny. So don't feel bad. Yeah. And I'm sorry for, I thought you were a little boy next to me. Hey, I'm the one who kept telling, hey, kid, move out of the way, kid. I need to put my microphone in front of a, in front of back. Hey, so I by the way, it. what did you learn when you came down here uh, to visit the border? What did you learn? What, what did you take away? When, you know, it's one thing to hear um, how vast and unsecured the border is. You know, I mean, it really is. And it's another thing entirely to go down and see it with your own eyes. When we got down there, I want to say it was about three in the morning when we finally arrived. And Louis Gohmert met us at this gas station. And I thought this was the funniest thing in the world. So he met us at this gas station. He got us in this SUV. He was driving it. It was him, another congressman, Glenn, uh, camera people. Pat was with us. And we just went off into the brush. And I was amazed. Like I said, it's one thing to see it on the map, how much is unsecured. It's one thing to hear about it. But to go down and actually see for yourself just how easy it is to cross the border, I mean, it just it blew me away. And the number of kids that were coming across the border. And the other thing that I, I, I knew, but I don't think I realized to that extent, was the amount of exploitation at the hands of drug cartels? Yeah. Because drug cartels, this is a this is an industry for them. I mean, they're having the they're having the best economic time of their lives right now mm-hmm. on the backs of these individuals and on the backs of our our, our failing immigration policy. 
I will never again ride in an SUV with Louis Gohmert. Uh, I- I've seen this guy travel across Texas. He, he constantly swigging those five-hour energy shots. So the, the guy scares he is, me. He is so, so hysterical. Yeah. When he, got he never out, sleeps. He, he just scampered over a hill and under a limb. And we were yeah, like, he's I really scary. <laughs> we, look forward to, we look forward to seeing you again here in South Texas, Dana. I've, I've managed to finagle uh, to try to get you to come to, down to, to McAllen sometime in in November and, and come and see us, come to the studio here at KURV. And, hey, we yeah. read books, too. You know, we like them uh, fancy book learning down here as well. We, we'd you love know, to. I'm going to yeah. have to send you all some books down there. All right. right. I'm going to have to send you all some. You got, you got any pictures in them <laughs> books? We, we like pictures, too, you know? We got pictures on the cover and on the back. All right. Here we go. Dana, <laughs> welcome to 710 KURV. Thank you so much. Weeknights, on, uh, weeknights at 9 p.m. on 710 KURV. It's the Dana Show. And stick around, friends, because come November, late November, she's going to be taking the 6 p.m. slot here at 710 KURV.